Hello everyone and welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad that you're here. So as you can see, I have two cups. I have one for Mike Pompeo and then one for Donald Trump again. But before I begin with the cup, I have an IOU. Uh, Sue Ellen Peters, here's the video on how to do your own cup at home. I'm so sorry it took so long. <laughs> I thought I had made a video on how to do your own cup and I thought it was a great video but I have a bunch of siblings I have older siblings and I have a younger sibling and uh, they told me that your video sucked and you know what after looking at it they were right I also downloaded a video on uh, prophecies that or or things that I saw in the cup and the tarot that have come true and I was so tired. It came out terrible. I posted it and then I made it into private because they were cracking up at me. Having siblings, they will not, they will stomp your ego out. All in good fun. And I'm glad they did it because it was pretty corny. So they're going to help me make a better video. <laughs> I'm so sorry I took that down, but they're going to help me make a better, better video. When I did that Ghislaine Maxwell cup where she is in prison and they're going to force her to do unspeakable things my younger brother <laughs> he sent me a picture of uh his coffee grinder with like he t i guess he took a toothpick or something and he made like a penis on it and he goes look what i saw in my coffee cup <laughs> and he sent it to me so they they keep me yeah they keep me grounded they, they don't let me well i think they don't let me get away with of stupid things like that. But. So you make espresso. Once your delicious espresso is done. So it's going to be very hot to so be careful with the handle. And now I have sugar. One tablespoon of sugar for every one ounce of espresso coffee. Okay, so one ounce of espresso, one tablespoon of sugar. So I'm trying to get three tablespoons of coffee so I could make three ounces of coffee and then save it. I put it in my fridge and I save it for, I'd say, five days, six days, as long as it's in the fridge. And then you can keep making coffee cups with it. I can eyeball it now, three ounces. And then I stir it. Stir it very well. Stir away. Make sure that the coffee and the sugar are one. And when you think you're done stirring, stir a little more. There you go. And then you have your clean cup. Make sure it's clean. It cannot have any grease then because then the coffee won't stick to it. So it has to be very, very clean. Do not use your regular uh, dishwashing sponge. Do not use that. You may want to grab a little paper towel, very clean one, and then sterile, and then put some dishwashing detergent on it, and then just wash it with that. And this is the amount of coffee that goes into one cup, very small amount. And I'll show you, you have to drink about half of that, at least half of it. And then state your intention. Try to concentrate on what it is that you want to uh, come out in the cup now take this seriously guys because I know this is kind of silly and strange for people that have never done it but state your intention try to concentrate on it and then swirl it around swoosh it swirl it swoosh, swoosh it swirl it after you've taken a drink now when I do a coffee cup for world leaders I don't take a sip I have to do a meditation on that okay this is completely different this is a personal coffee cup uh, cup so what you will have to do is take a sip of it whoever takes a sip of the coffee that's who the coffee reading will be on so if you want a coffee cup reading for you you have to take a sip of the coffee and then you flip it over like this and then you make sure you keep it steady very very steady okay don't move it don't bend it, don't twist it, nothing. Just keep it very, very steady. And then you bring it over to the burner. I have an electric stove, so I put it on medium heat. But if you have a, 
uh, gas stove, you gotta put it on low heat. Now, you have to be very careful. I don't wanna get sued for this, so don't burn your hand. Keep the handle away from the burner, okay? Do not put the coffee cup on top of the burner and walk away and do your own thing because you will burn it and it will pop and it explode and you will get burned and you will get cut. So please just pay attention. It doesn't take that long. Just keep it just keep it in your hands and keep it away from the flames and just wait till it's done. You might pick it up a little and look to see if the uh, molasses and the coffee have set in. Just be patient, okay? Try to concentrate on what it is that you want to be read. And wait, be patient. It doesn't take that long. And then eventually it will be done. And so here we have the finished cup. And we have little Jackie. Say hi to Kiva. And after you have your finished cup, you come and you bring it to you where it's bright. So you can get the most, and that's how I read it. I bring it like closest to the window where it's the brightest. There you go. So this is the cup. That is how you do it. And then after all that, here we have our cup to read. And now this is the cup for my Pompeo. The Trump Cup, I will post on another video. I won't post on this same video. This video has gotten too long already. And it took me a long time to make that video and edit it. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry. I'm just not skilled enough. Okay, so here's the cup on my Mike Pompeo. <sighs> we have two reporters. We have a Caucasian reporter, woman, and we have a woman of color, reporter. And they will break a story on Mike Pompeo and Trump. And I don't know what these little things at the bottom are, but I am going to say that they're microphones. So there may be some recordings of Mike Pompeo and Trump after this whole fiasco of them talking about the, the cover-up and what happened with the Ukrainian president and Rudy Giuliani, this whole mess. Yeah, so that's what I see there. And, you know, I think I'm going to start doing the cup videos by the bay window that I did earlier because it came out so clear. You guys will be able to see what I see a lot clearer. Like that, all those little drops come out so well on the uh, bay window downstairs. You see all that? Those are notes and papers that these re these reporters are taking up. And you see the little microphones here at the bottom. Mike Pompeo and Trump, <clears throat> they come out thinner and a little different just because they're far away. Like it's a secret, like they don't know they're being recorded. But it's them. And so then here you have Mike Pompeo, and he has his back turned to this couple. And this is Trump and Melania. You see what a tall woman she is? I don't know how tall Melania is, but she's very, a very tall woman. And this is Trump. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Trump is going to now he was left alone i read in the tarot that he was basically all alone his closest friends everyone just turned their backs on him so he's gonna go back to finding refuge in melania and here you have melania hugging him and trump is crying he is depressed he in such a state that trump cries He cries and he holds on to Melania. When Mike Pompeo turns his back on Trump and says, I'm done, throw his hands up in the air and walks away. 
Trump is going to be desolated. He's going to be desolate and he's going to be decimated. And then here you have Pompeo. Pompeo will be with his wife and they will be going away on a road trip of sorts. They will be on a car going away on a road trip. So after he's done, he's going to resign. He's going to leave. Mike Pompeo's going to leave. But I think even after he leaves, they're still going to be calling him for other things. He's still going to be omnipresent in a way in the administration. Okay, so then Mike Pompeo and his wife leaving on some, some sort of road trip on a vehicle. And here you have Mike Pompeo. And whenever I see that, that means sickness, operation, so, something. Something to do with their health. And I think, now I, when I read the tarot on him, I said that he would, or that there's something wrong with his stomach. This man has some sort of stomach issue. Here it is on the cup. Some sort of stomach issue. And there was some sort of bribery. We know that. Some sort of bribery that we went, that we know of, that went on between them, Pompeo and other people. And this is Trump. Not only did he try to bribe Zelensky, there's other people that he tried to bribe. Or he tried to manipulate with money. Money that wasn't his. And Pompeo knows about it. Pompeo also knows about Trump trying to bribe a younger man with money. And I don't know if that's Zelensky or not, but whoever he tried to, again, extort or manipulate or bribe with money. You see how his... I hate the blur. You see how his he has his head down? So that thing on top here, that's money. And then that's his head. He has his head down. And we have Trump over here trying to bribe him. There are many, many, many reporters here. So we have a man, so that may be the editor. The editor of the newspaper, and he's dismissing these two people. One is a woman of color. <clears throat> and I think that they're trying to record or find recordings about Trump's brouhaha. And then here I see an Arab man. And this is Obama. You guys, I know that Obama is a very tall man, muscular tall man. But he comes out like a thing of the past. Like far away. So I'm going to say that Trump and his administration are going to stage a fake trial on Obama that Obama did some dirty dealings with an Arab uh, nation leader and here you have it's gonna be enormous news it, it's gonna be all over the newspaper all over the world but especially in the right-wing media see all that it's some sort of staged. Slander of sorts. The the Arab leader and Obama were just conversating. They're going to make it out to seem bigger news than what it is. And then here you have. <laughs> this is bad. 
this is gonna be insane 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 so here you have Mike Pompeo Jared Kushner Donald Trump in some sort of legal issue legal trouble with newspaper news everywhere all over the world I mean it's all over it's sprinkled all over it's going to be ugly and Jared Kushner is right smack in the middle of it and Pompeo is gonna have to go and testify yeah that's what I see and at the very bottom unfortunately this is what I was afraid of. There are going to be riots in the United States of America. We're going to have riots. We're going to have people in the street protesting. And we're going to have violence. I opted to tell you because, I mean, I have this channel. I'm just going to, I'm just going to read you what I see. I'm just going to tell you what I read here. I decided to just come come clean. The only time that I wouldn't say something is like if there's a spy, I don't want them to be compromised because you never know who's listening. Some of these people are very superstitious, so I don't know, they might be listening. Even though they claim not to be, they may be. But yeah, so not here I see like just riding, people riding in the streets, buildings and smoke and people running and a big mess so that was my cup of my mike pompeo and his days are numbered <laughs>